I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans Knew. The merciless massacre in Gaza continued today as Israeli forces killed eight Palestinians and wounded over a thousand, including seven women and 31 children. This brings the total number killed to 30 after the Great Return March began last week. Protesters attempted to block the Israeli snipers' line of sight by burning tires and creating a wall of smoke. However, this was unsuccessful as snipers shot over 280 people with live ammunition. One of those killed today by Israeli bullets was a child. Hussein Mahdi was only 16 years old. Here his family says goodbye to their son. Majdi Shabbat, who was also shot to death today, was a father of three girls. Here we see a man yet to be identified approach the border unarmed with a rock in his hand. He is met with gunfire and tries to run away, but is then shot in the back. Six Palestinian journalists were also shot despite wearing clothes that clearly identify themselves as members of the press. One of the journalists, Yasser Murtaha, seen here, died from his wounds. Yasser's goal in life was to raise awareness of the Palestinian cause. He was only 30 years old. Media coverage from the massacres from American outlets has been widely criticized as misleading, as many outlets call the massacres a clash. A clash implies a battle of relatively equal forces. However, what we've seen is one of the most powerful militaries in the world, which sustained no casualties, gunning down unarmed Palestinian protesters from across a border fence. It resulted in over 30 people killed, over 1,000 wounded, and over 700 shot. Most major outlets have neglected to show the incriminating footage. <laughs> Comments from Israeli officials about the massacre have been very disturbing. Benjamin Netanyahu was quoted as saying, Well done to our soldiers. Defense Minister Lieberman said, Israeli soldiers did what was necessary. I think all our soldiers deserve a medal. And as for a commission of inquiry into the shootings, there won't be one. In the United States, there has been virtual silence from American lawmakers. Out of 535 United States members of Congress, only a few have said anything at all about the massacre. And the most prominent lawmaker to speak, Senator Bernie Sanders, put it very mildly that Israel had, quote, overreacted when it gunned down unarmed protesters. So I think it's a difficult situation, uh, but my assessment is that Israel overreacted on that. The fact is that Israel deployed 100 snipers authorized to use live fire against unarmed demonstrators. And as long as that order still stands, more protesters will be shot as the six-week demonstration continues into May. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and stay tuned to If Americans New for the latest news and analysis.